So, um, this, is this, correct me if I'm wrong, is this who the rumors are stating is replacing Ben Affleck's Batman in the DCEU? I hope not. It looks like she, the suit is made out of shiny pot holder material. Look, I don't know the actress. I don't know nothing about the actress. I'm sure she's a great actress. I'm just speaking on this outfit and what I'm seeing with this reveal. This does not work for me as a Batman and Batgirl fan. Doesn't work at all. At all. I, I don't I don't like I don't like it. No sir, I don't like it. Could this turn out to be an extraordinary movie? Absolutely. But with what DC, even Marvel, has been doing with certain things, um I'm some I just I, I don't have a lot of faith. You know? Hey, I'm watching Peacemaker right now up on Patreon. It's up on there. I'm loving it. You never know. I might end up loving this. But my first impressions is that this will not work. Especially if you're going to have Batgirl replace Batman. You, you can't replace Batman. You can't replace Superman. Okay? Um, you can't switch up and replace Wonder Woman with a character named Wonder Boy. It's not going to happen. The fans won't go for it. You cannot replace super iconic characters like that with their tokenized versions and expect it to work. It's not going to work. So, um, I just, I expect a dumpster fire. I really do. However, I'm still willing to give it a shot. Like I said, I did not expect to like Peacemaker because I didn't like Suicide Squad or the Suicide Squad as a whole. But James Gunn and John Cena are killing it in this series. So you never know. This is what it says, though. Just last summer, Warner Bros. grabbed... In the Heights star Leslie Grace to play Barbara Gordon for the Batgirl movie they've been trying to make for about five years so far. The news has been all about the cast, such as internet fave Brendan Fraser, potentially, as I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, okay, so as Firefly in the second and third coming of Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne. On Friday night, Grace released the first official image for the film. Her in the pretty cool looking, well that's all, opinion, not to me, uh, standing on the rooftop of Gotham as bats often do. Quote, I use their expectations against them, Grace wrote for the caption. That will be their weakness. No time, no, not mine. Let them all underestimate me. And when their guard is down and their pride is rising, let me kick their butts. The quote comes from 2003's Batgirl, year one, a series from a writer's scout. Okay. Uh, it served as an origin to show uh, how she became the first modern Batgirl. Um... The costume, though, is fairly recent, hailing from 2014's fan-favorite Batgirl Burnside series. Uh, it's also her default costume in the upcoming Gotham Knights game. The suit looks better in the game than it does real life. You know, sometimes things just don't translate. Like, I, I, I immediately recognize it, but, you know, 
no, sorry. It's gonna, it's gonna be a no <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, it, it ain't it, Chief. You know what I mean? So post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Um, this could absolutely be extraordinary. I've been wrong in the past about certain things, you know. Um, you know, in the past, I didn't want Ben Affleck or Gal Gadot to play those characters, and they proved me wrong. So, um, this has nothing to do with the actress right here. This has is all to do about the suit right now. You're showing me a picture of what our new Batgirl looks like, and I'm feeling from the look, it's not going to work. That's what I'm saying. So, we shall see. 10 million subscribers. Whoa. <laughs>